cars on roof. They won't move until they see it move again. It costs nothing to just sit in that tree and watch in the undergrowth. Yeah. It does cost energy to go off looking for the next thing. Right. So I'd rather sit tight here. If he's, if he's hunting for me, if we lose him mm -hmm. and I can't find him again, he's probably caught it or he's probably looking for something. And uh, me whistling and calling will do little good hmm. until the bells move and I can see, see where he is. The ultimate flying machine. Everyone disses the poor pigeon. Yeah. But uh, do you see that? He came right <laughs> in between our heads there. So yeah. I'll give him back again, so I'll give him a decent piece for that. And watch him come around. So watch his head. When you put your glove up, it's mm -hmm. got food in it. Your glove is the prey. Right. And so their eyes are so big in their skull that they've no room for musculature, they can't actually move their eyes. So what they do is they move the whole head. Huh. And if you want to be chasing a mouse or something that moves really frantically, if you can't move your eyes, you're going to lose it. What right. they do is they lock their vision on it, and the whole head moves around, or the whole body moves around the head, rather. Huh. So we've got seven vertebrae, and our next they've got 14. Wow. So when you watch him coming around, especially coming around the corner here, if he's locked onto your glove, his body will move literally like that to go around the corner, no problem, but the head doesn't move off the glove, because he'll lose sight of it if it's, mo if it's a moving I arm. I always thought their eyes move, but... Uh, no, no, it's the head, the head bob. Now, it can be different for different 